Hey friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the Tugo Systems Velar Ultralight Bivy. I've used this bivy a few times and if you're looking at this video you're likely interested in bivvies of some sort or potentially the Tugo Systems product of which there's not a lot of information out there on these. I've used this bivy three times now with relatively good results. In other words, did it do what it said it was going to do? It kept the weather out, it kept bugs out. It did those things and it did it relatively well. I believe that it probably increased the warmth inside of the bivy while I was in it. Two of those trips, I was in uh, lower teens on the temperature and one I was around 65 degrees. So uh, in my opinion, the lower temp ranges, it was more comfortable in the bivy. Uh, in that 65 degree range, uh, it wasn't, it was too warm. Uh, essentially a bug bivy would have been a better choice at that point. The material it's made out of is like a Tyvek type material that has a reflective coating on it. Um, it stretches around, according to the specs, 34 inches by about 87 inches. And that's really close to the measurements I took utilizing my phone, which was around seven feet by 32, 33 and a half inches. Plenty of width inside of there and length for even tall people. Now the things I did like about it is it did what it said it was going to do. The Two Go Systems website is not full of a lot of marketing fluff. And I believe that you can take what they tell you on there uh, to be the truth because uh, it does not seem like they're trying to propose that this is going to do something that it's not. It's not completely weather sealed. So in some spots, you may need to seam seal it along the zipper side and at the foot box end. But the seams where they pulled it together along the bottom, it is taped. So water does not penetrate through the bottom. Now areas where I had issues with the bivy were around the hood. I found that the, the mesh netting was just not spaced quite correctly. And I always had the, little, the position where the mesh met the, the Tyvek material right at my mouth, which was very annoying. And so I had a toggle about that size hitting me in the mouth all night long. So it, that was not comfortable. I also found that the way that the hood fit on me, that my breath just went straight down into the bivy and there was no real way for me to get my mouth into the mesh area so that my breath could escape. So I feel like a few tweaks to the design of the hood in the uh, mesh area would be useful in expanding that down about six inches so that you're able to snug the bivy up around your chest area and allow your breath to freely escape would be very beneficial for the use of this in longer term. If you're just going to use it one time, you want to throw this in your, your day hiking pack just for just in case one of your 10 essentials great it's uh in my opinion because of the hood design it's not going to be the best but it's gonna for its price range it's hard to complain this is 60 dollars or 66 dollars and on two go systems website what i'll put a link to down below they've got some other options out there and i think for probably a more multi-function piece the v4 trivecta blanket is made out of the same material which is reflective on the inside um and you could use it for more things like a tarp, a blanket, you could wrap yourself in it. And inside of this, it's a reflective material. And unlike regular Tyvek that we buy for uh, tent floors and to spread out on the ground, this material comes not very stiff, it's not crinkly, but it's very soft and it's not very noisy at all unlike regular Tyvek, but you tend to have to wash a little bit to get the uh, crinkliness out of it. The bivy and the stuff sack on my scale came in at 12.2 on the website. It states 12.1, so I'd say that they're very, fairly accurate. Um, it's a great bivy for 66 bucks. If you wanna just try bivvies out to see if it's your jam or not before you spend some more money on something that's even lighter weight, or more technical in nature or even customized to how you would like. This is a great bivy to start with um, if you've never tried it before. That's my take on the bivy. 
Uh, I'll put in some B-roll, so hopefully you like it. I'll put a link to Tugo Systems and the Bivy down below. So if you have questions about the Tugo Bivy, please feel free to ask them down below. Glad to answer any questions that you've got. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.